Hello, I'm Smarali Patel, and I'm excited to share this presentation with you on elite women athletes and their experiences with financial well-being. This study is supported with funding from eAlliance, the Gender Plus Equity Research Hub for Sport in Canada. There are different factors that impact the overall well-being of elite athletes, and an important contributor is their financial well-being. Financial well-being is defined as an individual's ability to meet their day-to-day -day commitments and have a sense of financial security and resiliency to deal with challenges. There is limited research on the financial well-being of elite athletes, and existing research tends to focus on male professional athletes. We acknowledge that within sport, resources are distributed unevenly between women and men athletes. Therefore, it is important to understand how elite women athletes experience financial well-being. To address the purpose of our study, we devised three research questions. We wanted to understand what the financial well-being of elite women athletes is, identify any potential variations in that well-being based on select socioeconomic factors, and understand the predictive effects of money use and management behaviors on that well-being. Our study is based on the financial well-being model developed by Professors Kempson and Poppy. According to this model, financial well-being is indicated by three components. One, meeting commitments, which refers to an individual's ability to meet their day-to-day -day commitments and avoid payment problems. Two, feeling financially comfortable which refers to how comfortable an individual perceives their financial situation to be. And three, financial resilience, which refers to an individual's ability to withstand financial setbacks or challenges now or in the future. The model further states that money use and management behaviors directly impact financial well-being. And these behaviors are indicated by eight different components related to budgeting, saving and spending, and making informed decisions. Also, other factors such as an individual's socioeconomic environment and their financial knowledge and experience can impact financial well being. To collect data for our study, we used an online survey that was available to all Canadian national team athletes aged 18 and over who were either currently active in competition or had retired in the past three years. Our survey was available in English and French, and questions participants answered were related to their socioeconomic background, their overall financial well being, their day to day money use, and their financial knowledge and experience. We used different statistical tests to analyze our data. The table here provides a breakdown of elite women athlete participants in our study based on their age groups sport participation status, their sport type, and their income groups. In line with the original model, our study also found that the financial well-being of elite women athletes is indicated by three components of meeting commitments, feeling financially comfortable, and financial resilience. The graph here demonstrates the financial well-being scores of Canadian elite women athletes in comparison to the general Canadian population. As you can see, Canadian women athletes scored considerably lower on two components than the Canadian population, meeting commitments and feeling financially comfortable. This tells us that women athletes experience problems meeting their day-to-day -day commitments, do not have a lot of money left over after paying for their expenses, and do not feel very confident and comfortable about their financial situation. Financial resiliency scores for Canadian elite women athletes and the general Canadian population did not differ, which tells us that though women athletes do not have a lot of money, they do the best they can and they are very resilient in the situations they find themselves in. Our study identified variations in the financial well being scores of elite women athletes based on the income group that they belong to. We found that athletes in the highest income group had the highest scores on all three components of financial well-being, and that athletes in the lowest income group had the lowest scores for two components, meeting commitments and feeling financially comfortable. 
This tells us that elite women athletes in the lowest income groups have significantly more problems staying current with their financial commitments, experience more problems in their expenses related to their sport participation as well, and do not feel very comfortable and confident with their financial situation. Our study did not identify any differences among groups of women for financial resilience, which tells us that being resilient is not dependent on income alone and other factors can play a role. We also did not identify any differences in the financial well-being scores for women athletes between incomes of $50,000 to $100,000, which also tells us that higher levels of income alone may not necessarily contribute to greater financial well-being and that other factors can play a role. Our study identified three main components for money use and management behaviors, active saving, informed decision-making, and financial vigilance. We also found that these money use and management behaviors predicted the financial well-being of elite women athletes. Particularly, we found that saving money for future and for unexpected expenses predicted elite women athletes' ability to meet their day-to-day -day commitments and avoid payment problems. We also found that saving money and considering a variety of options before making a financial choice predicted how comfortable elite women athletes felt with their financial situation. And saving money, considering a variety of options and being careful and cautious with how money is spent predicted how resilient elite women athletes were with their financial situation. So what do our findings mean? Well, our study found general alignment with the original financial well-being model. We found that three components are defining financial well-being of elite women athletes, and three components comprise their money use and management behaviors. However, the items that comprise these components or the number of components differed from the original study. This tells us that some questions may not be clear or may not apply to elite athletes and therefore future research should look to consider the context of the population being studied in similar surveys. We also see that elite women athletes face challenges with their expenses. They have trouble meeting their day-to-day -day expenses. They don't have a lot of money left over, including after paying for their sport participation, but they are a resilient group and they do the best they can with what they do have available. We found that higher levels of income alone do not contribute to greater financial well-being for elite women athletes, and that other factors that are related to saving money, planning how income is used, being careful about how money is spent, staying informed on financial matters play a critical role for elite women athletes and how they experience financial well-being. We hope our study prompts reflections. We hope elite women athletes can take these findings and use them to reflect on their day-to-day -day money use and management behaviors, and particularly devise strategies that can help them withstand financial setbacks, such as the ones they experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope national governing bodies and sport organizations who are already engaged in helping elite athletes manage their finances can use these findings and develop targeted solutions that can help athletes understand how they can better use their income, how they can be more cautious in the money they spend, and how they can be more resilient to withstand financial setbacks. Finally, we hope that this research prompts additional studies within this context so we can identify and understand different factors that can better explain the financial well-being of elite women athletes. We thank you for listening to this presentation. For a further discussion, please contact us on the email ID listed here. Take care.